Profesor Giovanni, ¿cómo está? Buenas, buenas noches, Diego Armando Medina de TUDN. Eh, ¿Cuál es la sensación de, de la derrota de hoy? Un partido que pareciera muy parejo, que al final termina siendo el arquero rival figura y, y que ustedes dieron, este, vendieron muy cara la, la derrota, tal como les pasó con Tigres, hoy les sucede con Monterrey. Sí, bueno, buenas noches. Uh, es lamentable eh, que no pudimos conseguir el gol que creo que merecíamos. Eh, la verdad que hicimos un gran partido. Estoy de acuerdo que ambos equipos jugaron muy bien. Monterrey que ya, bueno, conocemos su calidad, conocemos su contundencia. Una plantilla importante eh, con un nuevo jugador que se incorporó inclusive y participó hoy. Y creo que estuvimos ahí a la par, eh, inclusive creo que al final merecimos eh, conseguir al menos el empate. Creo que era lo justo del partido. Eh, creo que viendo ahora la repetición del penal, para mí fue claro, para mí un penal clarísimo, el cual creo que se equivoca el árbitro, eh, donde creo que hubiera igualado el partido eh, como creo que era justo. Pero al final el fútbol es así, eh, eh, pasa solamente uno, sabemos que en, este, en, este, en esta competición eh, uno se queda, uno, uno sigue adelante y, y creo que jugamos contra un gran equipo y, y mostramos uh, ser también nosotros un equipo muy competitivo. Lástima solamente que este, nos encontramos en este momento porque creo que ambos equipos merecíamos ir para más adelante. Alex Barnes, Stumptown Footy. Um, Gio, this match kind of similar to the last match, a lot of chances, just narrowly avoid uh, victory, but I just wanted to get your thoughts overall on this competition in its first season and um, just the opportunity for your team to play against some powerhouse teams from Mexico like these two sides. No, personally, I uh, I enjoyed, uh, and it's unfortunate that we're out of, of this tournament. Uh, I enjoy very much, uh, you know, the League's Cup, I think, has uh, attracted uh, many people because it's a World Cup uh, style of competition. And uh, and I think uh, joining with uh, the Liga MX teams uh, make it more, more interesting. Um, it allows us to see where we are at. Uh, it allows us to be able to continue to compete and make us better. Um, so for me, I think it uh, has been a great idea to incorporate this way this tournament. Um, it's unfortunate that we're not part of anymore, uh, that we couldn't move forward after this very good performance. Um, and uh, and this is unfortunately the way it is. You know, one has to move forward and the other one has to stay. Just the only thing, I think maybe we, we deserve something more in, in what we put into the game. And, and I repeat, I think, uh, I think uh, we could have gotten something uh, more um, towards the end, maybe a PK. Coach uh, Kyle Garcia from the Oregonian. Um, you guys played a really solid first half. You handled and contained um, Monterey's uh, counterattack, I thought, very well for a team that's known to be pretty strong in the counterattack. I was curious, what went into kind of game planning around that? And then after the goal in the final minutes of the first half, did you – Look to adjust the strategy at all, or did you, were you hoping to kind of just keep going with more of the same? We did a lot of scouting to to prepare for this game against Monterrey. Uh, we understood very much uh, the way they play. We understood the type of players that they have and the different players that could come into the game. Um, and and we prepare, you know, the things that we thought that we could do in order to try to prevent certain things. They're still very dangerous. They're still, you know, uh, besides being a good team, they have individualities that can change the game as well. And I believe that, uh, you know, the, the way we prepare the game uh, shows to be a team that can compete with them. Uh, and at some point, I think we deserved a little bit more than, than the, 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 what we got in, in the game. Um, I thought that towards the end, it became more in, in, in transition once we went through in the back. Um, we needed to gamble more, and, and that's why we threw uh, more players forward. And that's when we created more opportunities, we had more chances. But all around, I think we had enough uh, moments to be able to, you know, at least tie the game. Uh, they had a few moments as well. I thought it was a very entertaining match for, for the people that came to watch. Any other questions in the room here? Um, following both of these games against very, very tough competition, um, how do you plan on bringing the same energy that the team has used in both these games towards the rest of the season? 
that's what we spoke in the locker room right now. Uh, that if we play this way, it's going to be very difficult for teams to to be able to keep up with us. Um, the way the way we play today, uh, with the desire, with the unity, with the discipline, um, it was phenomenal. And uh, and remember that we have guys like uh, Jimmy, like Mora, that are restricted in minutes, so we couldn't play them more. Um, so. With what we had, uh, which some of the players are coming back, we show now that uh, we can be this type of team, a more, much more competitive uh, team. Because when you play against Tigres, Monterrey, these are top top teams. And if we match up the way we did, uh, and we showed today and, and against Tigres as well with, with 10 men, I think we, we, um, we have shown that we can compete in very much in, in MLS right from the get-go and, and try to make playoff and, and move forward now that we have. Two more players coming in uh, with Brian Acosta and Anthony. I think that uh, we're getting stronger. OK, we'll go to two questions online. Uh, John Lupo, go ahead. Uh, Giovanni, I would generally agree that I thought it was a well-played game and that both teams played very well. Just overall assessment of the tournament, maybe not as many goals as you would want, but defensively, I thought you played extremely well with as you said a level of competition you're facing with tigris and monterey especially you had the clean sheet against san jose and although you gave up two to tigris one was in the final 10 minutes of the match and then only giving up one to this very high powered monterey offense what do you what did you like most about the way you played defensively and the way you were able to contain all of these high powered teams and how you can take that into the rest of the mls season First of all, I we understood that sometimes in this game we had to, you know, um, deal in, in with uh, playing one against one. They have uh, uh, some moments four forwards. Sometimes they have six forwards, and uh, we knew that we have to be very good in the back to make sure first that we manage uh, our shifting, uh, making sure as well that we manage the men to men. Uh, and uh, and once we won the ball, uh, know exactly where we want to play, which we did a very good job um, to be able to do that. Uh, the unfortunate thing was that you know these type of teams, when you give one moment, um, like we did in the uh, towards the end of the first half, we allow them to be able to find the moment, and then uh, you know they they take advantage of. Um, and uh, the, the same thing happened with, with Tigres. One moment uh, towards the end almost at the end of the, the first half, similar like today. And unfortunately, we, we, we couldn't score. We couldn't find that moment. We were unlucky because everybody put uh, everything that they had in order to make sure that we can create great opportunities. And uh, unfortunately, and credit to them as well. I mean, the goalkeeper made a save at the end that it was, uh, you know, all the way in the bottom for somebody so tall. I thought the ball was going in. But uh, unfortunately, the, the game didn't go our way. Credit to Monterrey, but we, I'm very proud of the way that we, we, we play. OK, final question. Uh, Sergio Venegas, go ahead. Gracias. Buenas noches. Sergio Venegas para Deportes.com. Profesor, felicidades por el, el fútbol mostrado por su equipo. Al final del partido, como debe ser por una mínima, los roces se dieron. ¿Cómo tranquilizar a sus jugadores? Porque dieron una buena cátedra contra uno de los equipos que tiene una de las nóminas más altas en la Liga MX, sobre todo con un entrenador que los ha vuelto a poner en el mapa para poder llegar a ser campeones de la Liga MX. ¿Qué les dijo? Y pues les deseo éxito en la Liga, en la MLS, porque pues quedaron ya eliminados. Profesor, gracias. Bueno, gracias uh, por la suerte y la, los buenos deseos. Eh, sabíamos que íbamos a jugar contra un gran equipo, nos preparamos muy bien, uh, creemos en nosotros, eh, quisimos competir uh, de tú a tú, um, y creo que lo logramos demostrar contra, como bien dices tú, una... Una plantilla eh, importante de muy buenos jugadores que tiene mucho recambio. Eh, es un partido que yo creo que los dos equipos uh, dieron todo por el todo, metieron corazón y al final se juega este, con, con, un, con una intensidad diferente y a la final como terminó el partido es porque los dos equipos querían competir. Yo creo que es normal a veces ese tipo de situaciones. Ahí hubo... Eh, un confrontamiento al final, pero la final es más que todo tratar de separar, de que no de calmar las, eh, eh, a las personas y, y, y seguir adelante. Por supuesto que 
hay sensaciones, hay emociones y, y ahí se reveló el, al final que fue un partidazo porque eh, ambos equipos terminamos con el deseo de seguir adelante y seguir jugando. Eh, a la final, lamentablemente, nuestra salida de, de, del partido, del campeonato, y me queda solamente lo único negativo, es uh, de repente un penal que creo que podían, podían haberlo dado y, y, y hacer que el partido fuera más justo. Ok, that's it. Thanks very much, coach. Gracias.